Right, hello, how is everybody? Right, okay, so, got up this morning, silly clock like normal, Cassie was still going, foodie beauty, didn't hear it, didn't hear it, uh, it was called LOL, um, with a random thumbnail, so anyway, um, don't expect anyone to be here, on this live, it's a little bit too short notice, but it was impromptu. I thought she'd delete it, uh, because I was sort of like swiping it, and then you know, she goes to bed. Oh my, but not up and doing so. Yeah, it's here. Uh, the one that she'd done prior that day was called Burger King Bees. Um, and amazingly, she hasn't taken either of these down. Which is unusual. So, anyway, here we go. Not watched it. Not watched it. So, apparently it's a doozy. Stop. <laughs> All right. I mean, this is two odd hours long. We're not doing a whole two and a half hours long with foodie. Um, no, no, no. It's coming up seven o'clock at night for me. Um, when I got home... Did chuck some chicken breasts in, just turned them off. They're done. Done them nice in wrapped in bacon with some cheese. Um and I'm I think I'm gonna do like um kind of like uh a pasta thing and some veggies or sweet corn or something like that, like corn on the cob. Gonna do that. But the boys not back till gone nine, so we've got a little while, but honestly, what the fuck is she wearing? Right. I got a song for you, okay? It's called Stop Right Now. <laughs> Thank you very much. I need somebody with the bees in touch. Hold on a second, guys. Um, what am I going to... What the fuck is going on here? Uh, my God, the lady in the shop that sells the hijabs and the scarf saw her coming. What the actual motherfucker is that? Carlos with. 1970s wants their patchwork nastiness back. I'm going to put a sweater over me. I'm so nervous right now. Oh, God, that's perfect. Where did I ever? Hi. But, but she wants to put a jumper on. But she's already in that minking dress that she hasn't taken off for days. What? This makes no sense. I didn't see this bit. I I haven't watched it. Um, Woke up, she was still going, then it was finished. And I was like, oh, that's not going to process. It's going to be gone. She'll delete it before it's processed. But she hasn't. It's still up there. Hi, Ariel. Wait. Am I able to talk about it now? Megan, I haven't even, like, friggin' talked about it. What did he say? What? 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 Hang on. What did Pete say? Oh, God. It's such a long video for me to skip. No, I, I can't. I can't. Okay, well, good. Pete comes in here. Sorry. What's he say? Stop. <laughs> All right, right. I got a song for you, okay? Oh, God, sorry it's about this. Stop right now. <laughs> Thank you very much. I need somebody with the bees in touch. Hold on a second, guys. She didn't have this cheek to say, hey, now, always on the run, because we know this fucking juggernaut has never run anywhere. Yes. Um, what am I going to cover this with? I'm going to put a sweater over me. I'm so nervous right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, that's perfect. Where Is did I now? ever? Hi. Hi, Ariel. Wait. So am I able to talk about it now? Not yet. I haven't even, like, friggin' talked. So he said, am I allowed to talk about it now? Talk about it. Okay, but people have already seen the thumbnail. Like, people are actually asking me about it right now. All right, all right, all right. 
Oh, he doesn't sound best pleased, does he, old freeload of Pete? <laughs> so rather than you like them, you like them because they're Come on, Pete, don't lie. You you lied for her plenty of times. Why is now any different? Oh, because of the thumbnail. Yeah, I guess that. All right, sounds good. Everyone who goes, oh, Pete's, Pete's doesn't lie, Pete's doesn't lie. Pete has lied over and over and over and over and over and bastard again. He's just really bad at it. I mean, I don't know who's worse at lying, Chantel or Pete's. I mean, like, they should never have broke up. Go ahead. Hold on. Hold on, guys. <laughs> right, at this point, Pete goes on his live, because I did see a little two-minute clip that got sent to me. Pete goes on his live, and he goes, yes, literally an hour ago, we've been told that we're not moving in the mansion. Right? So that's the whole thing. Anyone who's watching Foodie Beauty, you know this. I've got a whole day. I'm a day behind. A waking day behind. Can't help the time difference. <laughs> I, I, God damn, earning a crust. Always behind. You know what? It's, it's here's the thing. It's a challenge for me to find clothing that is big enough. Big enough. Yeah, it's always a challenge to find clothing that is big enough. Yeah, I can get that. I mean, I have trouble finding clothing that is small enough. I don't know what it is. People expect you as a female to have an arse and hips. No, my trousers, especially my suit trousers, looks like elephant ear rolls. Um, hijab friendly. And really, you don't need clothing that is hijab friendly. Uh, cover your shoulders and your upper arm. Your chest and your neck, and you're good to go. You're good to go. And you're a Western person and you're not following the Islamic faith. So, um, what the fuck? And. Oh, God, it's another swearing stream. I'm sorry. So, I kind of don't match right now, so I appreciate the patience. Oh, my God. What could possibly match? With that thing you have wrapped round your head. Look at the colour of it. Look at the patterns of it. What could fucking possibly match with that outside of vomit? With my, my clothing being a little mismatched and my hijab not being perfectly pinned down. Hi, um, I... <laughs> Kitty you know, do, the community actually has been really nice. Like, when I go to, like, a store, <laughs> it's owned by, like, Gosh. you know, Muslim. Well, no shit. The place that sells hijabs is owned by Muslims. Well, fuck you. What a revelation. Uh, if they actually saw you, yeah, it's like the 1970s, want their vomit back and carpet and wallpaper and cartons and those plastic nasty fucking tablecloths. I mean, oh my god. It's just something else. Those Muslims lady, uh, the Muslim ladies in that store, A, sold you that because no fucker else would want it. Um, and B, probably don't know that you're using this for cosplay and attention people or people from the middle east actually I should pin this back more they're very nice she's like let me help you with your pin see look at her she's she's more worried about her cosplay outfit because we know she can't stop looking at herself. So this is her latest fetish in her own self-absorbed nightmare. Ariel, ready, set, bees. Carla, cupcakes, ready, set, rebies. Thank you. Do you like the look? or <laughs> No, I mean the... Uh, absolutely not. Absolutely not. It's fucking horrific. Dress doesn't match, so I put this other green shawl. Not a fucking thing could match with that. Apart from you, actually, foodie. In the grotesqueness of this, 
you match. And then this shawl over top. Now, I'm going to talk to you. I'm so friggin' nervous because I'm going to get judged hardcore. And actually, I don't know why. I'm not, like, really super nervous, but... Marion, I guess you've seen all this rat shit, have you, the rest of today? Oh, I guess you know all of this. I don't know what's coming here. I I sniped her the last couple of minutes because that was when I was waking up about five o'clock in the morning. I was like, mm, yeah, I'll go. I'm going to do go, grab that. And do you know what? It's not going to convert because she'll delete it. Um, She didn't, amazingly. So, for me, this makes Salah a complete fictitious person. You saw it live. <laughs> oh, fuck. Jeez. Oh, no, that's not good. Because that was, uh, like, two and a half hours. That was all through the night. Because I was getting up. It was like five o'clock in the morning, man. Listen, before I talk to you about what happened... I want you to know that this is like, <laughs> all right, uh, all I can do, okay, you know. Scam by her or scam by someone else? I mean, like, it's really difficult. It's really difficult to, like, we've seen her lie and lie and can't stop lying. Oh, I'm going to run with it. I'm going to run with it. How you guys think, like, okay, her life has to be scripted because it's so friggin' crazy? Okay, all right. I want to assure you, I promise. Chantel, your life isn't so fucking crazy. Uh, you're just a bastard, really. What makes your life crazy? What? You, what makes your life crazy, foodie? The fact that you make up boyfriends, you say you're sleeping with married men and then you're not sleeping with married men and then you're a victim and then you're a drug addict and then you're not a drug addict and then you might be. Um, What makes your life crazy? Are you living on the edge? Not well, yeah, you are. Look at the fucking size of your lady. You are living on the edge. What makes your life crazy? Fucking nothing. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Oh, I hope it's the documentary. Is it the documentary? Go on, tell me, how was it? It best not have painted him in good light because I sent a lot, a lot over to that documentary um, and so did a load of other folks. I hope it wasn't biased. I hope it wasn't. Oh, was it, it, that was, that fucking motherfucking thing was like before the plague days. It's been long in the making. Oh, God. But the thing is, anything that puts his, his, his horrible mug on the telly is going to... Oh, he's going to have his dick in his hand, isn't he? Blech. They best have brought up the Roxy, who was in prison already. They best have brought up uh, the casino thing, where actually John Wedger was in the newspapers saying he commended other people for bringing that Turkish, Kurdish, bloody casino thing down. Yeah, no, but I didn't ask you that. Oh, shut up, man. Shut up, man. Get out of here. Yeah, all right. Fuck off. Really, that's not true. That's... Why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? Yeah, what is this called? Oh, it's called... Channel 4 is called YouTube, is it? 
Oh, is he put it on his YouTube? He better not have. Jesus shit. I'm good. Oh, God. Really? Fucking hell. He didn't, did he? Did he have the bare ass seat to do that? Because I actually, I've been approached by... Oh, God. No, he hasn't. Stop it. No, he hasn't. He hasn't put anything on his channel. YouTube what? John Wedger on Channel 4. Really? So, the documentary doesn't have a name. Well, that sounds like... On Channel 4. Right, okay. Oh, fucking hell. So, Blakewood has put it up. Yeah, well... Oh, God. Alright, uh... uh <laughs> hang on, I'm gonna have to look at this. Come on, because I keep on top of this arsehole. Yeah, I found it. Sorry, Dave. Um, sorry, Dave. I don't know who you are. I'm getting so much shit in my existence at the moment. I don't trust anyone. Um, did they really? Uh, well, um, I'm going to actually, um, speak a lot about this when I've had some time to think about it, um, because I've got messages that have come through to me, um, I know the producer of this, they were pushing, 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 they wanted to have my opinion on John Wedger, they wanted all of the shit on John Wedger, which I did give, and I'm like, mm, I'm out, I'm just not, not involved in this, like, uh, it's all in the newspapers anyway, this motherfucker. Uh, then it was the Jeanette Archer stuff, and it was like about trying to re-resurrect uh, re, re satanic ritual abuse. And I was like, okay, well, you can do that. Here, here's all of it. Here's all the characters. Here's all the characters. Bill Maloney, blah, blah, blah. This is how long it's gone. And they were like, yeah, but because you've been going at this for so many years, and am I right in saying that you actually left the country because of it, um, would you like to do an interview, and I was like, fucking absolutely not, right, well, the gloves are off, because I've got these emails, I've got these emails, this motherfucker, this motherfucker, actually done a great big religious documentary years ago, can't remember what it was, we're going back pre-fucking days here of the plague, um, and he was like, oh, look me up, I done this, it was the wrong little, oh, whatever, whatever, Shh. <laughs> Oh, my God. I don't give a shit what he's fucking called. He's a fucking... Ugh. Oh, my God. Really? Really? So, this just, mean, this just means everything that decent people have done here, we've been doxxed, we've been ridiculed, it's all been worth jack shit. Marvellous. Right, well, I'm, I'm cutting this live. Um, um, really sorry for the people that were here for Fat Sai. Um, let's get rid of Fat Sai. Um, I'm fucking shocked. Wow. And this is why you never, ever trust the media. Because I actually, I was like half there with this person. This was in the plague days. He was saying he'd filmed Jeanette Archer and she, well, no. He'd spoke to John Wedger and he'd spoke to Jeanette Archer. This was before they fell out. And they were so hyper-animated. It was more about them getting their face on the TV than it was anything else. And he was pushing, pushing, pushing me. Yeah, but 
I see you on the internet and you've had this. And I'm like, you need to know the characters involved here. Uh, I wanted to know everything about Wilfred Wong. And I'm like, uh, it's all in the press. Get out of here. I'm I'm not shocked because, like, fucking hell, John Sweeney done this to me. John Sweeney done this to me. Fucking hell. Um... Dave Courtney, I don't know if you're just here to throw a bomb because, like, I have been busy and, um, like, and it's fine to throw a bomb because I didn't believe you, so I apologise for that. Um, is this bigging Wedger up? Because I've not watched it, you've just told me. Is this bigging John Wedger up? Like, I need to know this. Hi, Abby. Sorry. You thought you were coming in a foodie beauty thing, but it's changed. I I, I suggest you jump out here. It's going to get a little bit dark with me in the next couple of hours. Um, Abby, you don't need this shit in your life. Um, You're not... You're not going to benefit from it. Um, and I'm not telling you to leave. Um, I'm just very conscious of um, the people. It's bigging him up. Wow. Fucking hell. Well, I'm ending this live. Mo, just you can fuck off, man. You can fuck off. Well, no, not fuck off, Mo. Sorry about that. Um, I'm really fucking shocked at that. Mo, Mo, as someone, oh yeah, but I, as someone that called him out, did uh, did this did this producer get in touch with you as well? I'm absolutely fine. Abby, um, let's, let's just, um, I'm, at, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fucking furious, and me when I'm furious is not a good, not a good thing, but not for you guys, not for you guys at all, um, wow, um, Do you know what? If anyone has ever has a fucking gut instinct to stay away from something, follow it. Absolutely follow it. Abby, we're fine. We'll be ripping the piss out of foodie as a fucking decompression chamber before you know it. <laughs> but stick around because this is a shit show. But be careful of your mental health. Be careful of yourself because. This is something outside of, like, the normal piss taking of foodie that, that the channel pretty much started on. Um, started on. Um, I silenced my channel not that long ago just because it was getting too much for me. But um, I'm going to bring all them videos back up. Fuck it. What's to lose? What's to fucking lose? <sighs> Sorry, Mo. Sorry, Mo. I'm fucking fuming. Um, no, no, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to, um, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go out for a run. I'm going to blow my knee out and we're going to come back on and we're going to, um, hang on. It's, it's on, it's on there, is it? It's, it's on here. Let's go. John Wedger on Channel 4 in a mask. Like Blake Woods put it up. Right, okay. <gasps> it is fucking him as well because I've had him on fucking Zoom. 
Jesus motherfucking Christ. Right, okay. Right, let's copy that. Let's download that. sniper Yeah, fucking hell. Really? Really this shit? Channel 4. Man. <laughs> oh, scratching. Ah, uh, there's another independent filmmaker who actually wants to um do my my um writings to be fair. Um that's not gonna happen. It's not for T V, it's our private it's, it's our memory. Jesus shit. What the fuck is wrong with these people? Yeah, but I know this documentary maker. He knew what was going on with Wilfred Wong. And the many people outside of that that were damaged. Because of that weird fucking cult that was going on I've got to go I'm sorry I'm really sorry um I'm going out for a run I'm gonna pull my shit together and um yeah I've I've just grabbed that we're gonna download it um um Yeah, well, I don't fucking know. I don't know. I've got to go. Yeah. I spoke to that fucking person on fucking Zoom. Not Skype, Zoom, I'm old school. Um, during the plague days. And he was telling me that, oh, yeah, uh, John Wedger was a glory hunter, so was Jeanette Archer, because all they were like, yeah, 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 put us on camera. And he was telling me, well, we can't, because we can't travel. And that here we fucking are. Here we fucking are. I've got to go. Sorry, guys. Um, I'm so sorry. Um, Literally. My knee will be blown in about 15 minutes and we'll come back and we'll do this. Um, I'm going to put some rice on for my boy. So he's got some grub with the chicken that I've already cooked. Um, he'll be good to go. And um, we'll deal with it there. We'll, we'll give, give me 15 minutes, right? Fuck, I'm fuming. I am that angry. I... I'm fucking shaking. Wow. Well, how glad am I that Channel 4, just like John Sweeney, pff, fuckers, fuckers. But the alternate media is just as fucking bad. Right, anyway. You don't need to hear the babblings of me right now. Um, I'm out. Much love to you and yours. Um, if you're not here in the next 15, 20 minutes, I fully appreciate it. It's going to be a whole different bullshit game. Um, and I'm really sorry if any of it upsets you. Um, I'm really sorry. So, heads up. Next one, can't be fucked with doing the thumbnail. It's just fucking weird. And for John Wedger to have a fucking bird mask on. Yeah, dogger much, you fucking sick fucker. Anyway, I'm out. I'm going, My mouth is running and I need to calm down and um, not do that. Anyway, much love. Ooh. I'm out. I'm out. I feel sick.